In 2017, the European Commission and the AFD started working hand-in-hand -hand on the reduction of inequality through the EU AFD Research Facility on Inequalities. Funded by the European Commission and conducted by the AFD, this initiative funded 23 research projects in over 20 countries. After the publication of 100 research papers and policy briefs, the facility allowed to deepen the knowledge and understanding of economic and social inequalities, their determinants and underlying mechanisms. These findings also supported the formulation of recommendations to find the most effective policies and approaches to reduce them, in a joint reflection with EU member states. After three years of research, what's next? The success of this initiative called for an extension of the EU AFD Research Facility on Inequalities from 2021 to 2026, with a global budget of 3 million euros. This new phase is articulated around two objectives. Firstly, to support partner countries in the formulation of policies to reduce and address inequalities in the context of the implementation of the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Secondly, to render the policy-making process more inequality-sensitive, inclusive and effective. This time, the facility is going to focus on four partner countries – South Africa, Mexico, Colombia and Indonesia. How will it unfold? The objective is first of all to target, through prior research work and by using the diagnostic tools and methodologies developed in the first phase, one or more priority intervention themes. For each theme, a relevant public policy will be identified and analysed, with particular attention to the interlinkages between climate change and inequalities. A set of recommendations related to the previously identified topics will then be issued in each of the countries in accordance to their potential to reduce inequalities. Tools and methodologies will also be developed in order to inform policy decision makers on the impacts of public policies on inequalities. The policy supported in the framework of the extension will therefore be the result of research developed in collaboration with local research institutions following a broad consultation with stakeholders, governments and local civil society organisations. These policies will also be supported by expertise and technical assistance to ensure their sustainable impact. It is our goal, our will and the long-term success of this programme that all this knowledge will then enable partner countries and development actors to better understand the dynamics of inequalities and to better respond to them in terms of public policies. Follow our updates and join us for this new initiative.